Jesus said, the Spirit of the Lord is upon me because He has anointed me to preach good news to the poor. He has sent me to heal the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives and recovery of sight to the blind, to set at liberty those who are oppressed, to proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord. Welcome to Nain. The Bible tells us that Jesus came to this city and raised a young man from the dead, healing the heart of his mother who was a widow. He also went to the house of a Pharisee and he restored in that place the heart of a woman who had been rejected, who had been wounded. Jesus, by the power of the Holy Spirit, brought healing and restoration to her heart. In this episode of The Promise, we're going to be sharing with you this message of how the Holy Spirit has power to restore and heal the brokenhearted. In every episode, we're going to be at a different location, bringing a teaching about a different aspect of the Holy Spirit. If you want to see this whole series, you can visit our website, holyspirit.tv. We are now going to show you the power of the Holy Spirit being poured out in the nations of the world. The gospel is the good news. Injil adalah kabar baik that Jesus Christ, bahwa Yesus Kristus, on the cross, di atas kayu salib, paid in full for the debt that you owed and that I owed. Menggantikan hukuman yang mestinya kita terima dan mengambil hukuman itu bagi dirinya sendiri. That Jesus paid for your sin and for my sin. Yesus melunasi hutang dosa kita. That he was wounded for our transgressions. Ia disiksa, ia disakiti karena dosa dan kesalahan kita. He was bruised for our iniquities. Ia dilukai karena segala dosa kita. He offered his soul as an offering for our sin. Ia memberikan jiwanya sebagai persembahan. Make a decision. Buat pilihan. To change. Untuk berubah. Make a decision. Buat pilihan. To turn your back on sin, untuk berpaling dari dosa, and to go straight to Jesus, dan maju dan mengalami Yesus berikan tuan yang meriah buat Tuhan. She can lift both her hands and the depression is gone. I have no more fear and no more anxiety. Can you hear? Before when I sit like this, people has to like take me up, but now I can do it myself. I was diagnosed with Big Johnson disease and affects my eyes. I cannot see. My eyes, I can see now. He's merciful and compassionate. I'm a drug addict. I repented today. Jesus has set you free. Tuhan telah membebaskan kau.
to see the eyes of Jesus. Jika engkau bisa melihat mata dari Yesus, eyes full of love. Kau akan melihat mata yang penuh dengan kasih. What makes our God unique? Apa yang membuat Tuhan kita unik? Is that our God is love. Adalah bahwa Allah kita adalah kasih. Jakarta, Indonesia. Jesus Christ is Lord. Truly precious to be able to see how God is touching so many people around the world by the power of His Spirit. We are right now walking in the entrance of the city of Nain. When Jesus came to this world, the Bible says that He came to this city with a large crowd of people and His disciples. And as He was entering this city where we're standing right now, the Bible tells us that there was a woman who was a widow, who had an only son who had died. And they were carrying Him out of the city with a large crowd following them to, to bury this young man. This woman was in great distress. She was in great pain. She had lost her husband. And now she had lost her only son. And the Bible says that the crowd that was following Jesus and Jesus himself met this woman and the men who were carrying the coffin out of the city. And when Jesus saw this woman weeping, the Bible says that Jesus was moved with compassion passion for this woman and he stretched his hand and he stopped the coffin and he said to the woman don't cry don't cry anymore and he spoke to this young man and he said to him young man I say to you arise and this young man was raised from the dead right here in the entrance of Nain. Wow, the power of the resurrection. Jesus said, my words are spirit and are life. Life met death and life overcame death. Jesus raised this young man from the dead and presented him to his mother. Her weeping turned into joy. And the Lord poured the oil of joy in her heart instead of mourning. It is so, so amazing to see how Jesus not only raised this young man from the dead, but also gave hope and life and joy to his mother. The same way Jesus says to you today, do not cry, do not cry, I say, to you, arise, arise. If you've been mourning, if you have suffered loss, if you, uh, if you are struggling with pain in your heart because of some tragedy that you've gone through or something that has happened to you, Jesus, Jesus through the power of His Spirit today, He wants to minister to you. He wants to pour the oil of His Spirit the power of His Spirit upon your life, and He wants to give you joy instead of mourning. He wants to cover your life with the mantle of praise. He, wants he desires to transform ashes into beauty. It is the power of the resurrection. It is the power of the Holy Spirit that wants to minister to your life today. From right here, from Nain, we want to show you what God is doing around the world. Hello. 
alone with you. Away, As the Holy Spirit was moving, I felt a burning down in my body. And I thank God. I thank God that I can't breathe. To worship you, I live. To worship you, I live. I live to worship you. If you will seek Him, you will find Him. How do you seek Him? You seek Him with your heart. You seek Him with your spirit within you. You desire Him. You long for Him. He goes beyond and just pray. He goes beyond than just singing. He goes beyond than just reading the word. He goes beyond than just going to church. He goes with the desires of your hearts. I was diagnosed with fibroids as big as a grapefruit. I don't feel anything at all. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Because God moves in a supernatural way only where they seek Him, where they come to Him with desperation, with hunger, with thirst, and they're desiring Him. People are like that. He comes. He comes because that's his promise. He comes to open your eyes. He comes to touch you with his fire. He comes to open your ears to hear his voice. To worship you, I live. To worship you, I live. I live to worship you. I took off my glasses and I can see clearly now. I suffered with arthritis in my right shoulder and I, my hands was cold like if I was holding a big block of ice. And now I can put my hands right around behind my back. Like a cloud come over me and I say thank you Jesus. Squeeze, squeeze here. There's nothing. There's nothing. I feel good. I feel good. I was getting a pain in my chest where my heart is. It was going. <laughs> <laughs> In Bridgetown, Barbados, Jesus Christ is Lord! We are truly blessed to see how God is touching lives around the world. We are right now standing inside the city of Nain. In this city, the Bible says that Jesus, after raising this young man from the dead, was invited to eat at a Pharisee's home. And when he was inside this home with the Pharisee, whose name was Simon, the scriptures tell us that a woman, when she heard that Jesus was in this house, she came to where he was without asking permission. She walked inside this house and she went straight to the feet of Jesus. And not only to the feet, but the Bible says that she went behind his feet. And she humbled herself and she began to weep and she began to wash his feet with her tears and she began to wipe them with her hair. The Bible says that she had a flask of fragrant oil and she anointed the feet of Jesus with this oil. When Simon saw what was happening, he thought to himself, this man thinking about Jesus, if he was a prophet, he would know what type of woman this is, for she is a sinner. Jesus turned to Simon and said to him, Simon, I have something to say to you. There was a creditor who had two debtors. One owed him a large amount of money and the other one a very small amount of money. And he forgave them both. He forgave both of their debts. And he asked them, which one would love him the most? And Simon said, the one who was forgiven the most, the one who had the largest debt, he would love him the most. And Jesus said, you have judged correctly. You have judged right. And he said to Simon, 
You see this woman? She came to your house and she washed my feet with her tears. When I came into your house, you did not wash my feet. She anointed my feet with fragrant oil. You did not anoint my head when I came into your house. You did not give me a kiss, but this woman has not stopped kissing my feet. And he said to Simon, he who's forgiven little loves little, but he who's forgiving much loves much. He said to the woman, your sins are forgiven you. Your faith has saved you. Go in peace. Because this woman came to Jesus and she humbled herself at his feet. The anointing, the presence and the power of the Holy Spirit that was upon Jesus came upon this woman and restore her heart and heal her heart. And this woman who was rejected by society, this woman who has suffered all of her life, right there at the feet of Jesus, was restored and was healed. The same way you can be healed. You can receive the peace of God in your life. You can also have Jesus restore your heart and give you peace. If you're willing to humble yourself before Him, the Bible says, and cast your cares upon Him, for He cares for you. From right here from the city of Nain, we would love to pray with you for the Holy Spirit to come and heal and restore your heart. We're gonna see the power of the Holy Spirit touching lives in the nations and healing and restoring so many people. And when we come back, we will pray together for God to bring His joy and His peace into your heart. de los cielos se ha acercado justicia gozo paz no hay nada más maravilloso que experimentar la presencia del cielo en tu vida por medio del Espíritu Santo y en este día en primer lugar tú tienes que tomar la decisión ¿qué vas a buscar más? ¿lo que este mundo te ofrece o lo que proviene del cielo? yo tengo aquí un y yo sentí un fuego, un fuego que me quema y me, me, me tiembla todo. ¿Antes lo podía palpar? Sí, antes lo tenía aquí. ¿Y ahora no está? Ahora no, ahora no. Tenía quiste de ovarios, empezaron a, a doler los ovarios. Y empecé a sentir un fuego. Esa dolencia que estaba ahí en los ovarios, ¿ya no está más? No, ya no. ¿Ya no está más? Ya no. Llevo mucho tiempo con dolor de tobillos y, la verdad, atrosis. Yo noté como un fuego me invadió. Alta, a ver, ahí. No hay nada de dolor. No, no hay más dolor. El único, el único que puede bautizarnos en el Espíritu Santo y fuego es Jesús. Solo camino al Padre y es por medio de Jesús. En Madrid, España, Jesucristo es el Señor. Somos libres a lo que canta tu gracia. Tú eres aquel en que nos movemos. Tuya es la gloria. Hay un fuego que arde en el corazón que nunca se apagará.
how precious it is for us to be able to witness the outpouring of God's Spirit in these last days. How His power is healing broken hearts, healing those who are sick, and revealing Jesus to so many lives around the world. We continue from right here in the hills, right next to Naim, where Jesus performed these two amazing miracles of raising this young man from the dead and restoring the heart of his mother. And also where Jesus healed and restored the heart of this woman that was in so much need. In the same way, God desires to heal your heart. God desires to restore your broken heart. Many times, words that people speak against us, many times events that have happened in our past, tragic things that have happened to us are like thorns in our hearts that cause this pain and it's deep inside of our hearts and we feel like we have to live with this pain in our hearts. I'm standing right here in a field full of thorns and many times we feel like these briars and these thorns, they're not in a field, but they are in our hearts. And because of that, we live with this constant pain. But the Bible says that our God, the light of Israel, will be a fire. And His Holy One, a flame. And in one day, He will burn all the thorns he will burn all the briars in one day. In one day, in one moment, God can heal your heart by the power of the Holy Spirit. In one moment, He can take away those thorns from your heart. In one moment, He can take out those roots of bitterness from your heart in one instant. Let us pray right now for God to bring this miracle to your life. If you want to receive this miracle, first of all, make a decision to give your heart to Jesus. And then make a decision to forgive others and also to ask God to forgive you. Right there where you are, if you want God to restore and heal your heart, I want to encourage you to pray this prayer after me. Simply close your eyes and say, Jesus, I receive you into my heart. I believe that you are the Son of God. I believe that you died for me on the cross. I believe that you wore a crown of thorns on your head so that the thorns in my heart would be taken away. Jesus, at this moment, I forgive those who have hurt me. I bless them and I ask you to forgive me also. Jesus, I belong to you today and forever. Pour your love upon my heart through the Holy Spirit. In your name I pray, amen. If this is the first time you pray this prayer, if you felt the Lord do a work in your heart, in your life at this very moment, we want to hear from you. Also, if you have a specific prayer request, a need in your life, and you would like God to heal your heart or heal your broken body, you can contact us through our website, holyspirit.tv. If you're watching this program online, you can share this episode. You can share this message about the love of Jesus to heal, the power of the Holy Spirit to restore broken hearts, simply by clicking like or clicking where it says share. Thousands of people, thousands of your friends all around the world are gonna be able to receive this message and the love of Jesus. Also, if you would like to receive more of these teachings from different areas in Israel, more testimonies of what God is doing around the world through the power of His Spirit, you may also click on subscribe and we will send you these teachings through your email and you are gonna be able to be blessed and encouraged and challenged through these videos. What a blessing it is to be right here in Nain where Jesus walked, where Jesus performed these amazing miracles, bringing to you this message. How, I feel so blessed to be here and I want to thank all the people who support us, who stand with us, who partner with us, who are 
encouraging us and praying for us, for us to be able to continue to go around the world sharing the gospel. In appreciation for their support, we want to give to them a book that I've written about the Holy Spirit, about how you can have an intimate relationship with the Holy Spirit, how you can have communion or fellowship with the person of the Holy Spirit, and how you too can be used to heal the sick and deliver the oppressed and bring healing to the brokenhearted through the power of the Holy Spirit. If you would like more information on how you can partner with us and receive this free gift, you may contact us also through the website, holyspirit.tv. From right here, from name, we want to bless you. And I want to encourage you to trust in the Holy Spirit and to always set your eyes on Jesus. anointed me to preach good news to the poor. He has sent me to heal the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives and recovery of sight to the blind, to set at liberty those who are oppressed, to proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord. Welcome to the Sea of Galilee.